In the last post, I have shown you five factors that make 90% of the world population poor based on the Russian self-made billionaire wisdom. And today, I want to share with you his five habits to getting out of that vicious cycle. The first one is stop complaining, blaming about your fate. Stop taking the position of a victim or a sufferer. Stop searching for people who can resonate with your suffering. You're just wasting your energy on things that you can use somewhere else more beneficial. Second habit, make sure that nobody owes you anything. What you have right now is what you can use in different ways. And what people have is what they use. You can request for any government's compensations and hanging up sitting and waiting. However, doing so you're just wasting your time and energy on the wrong things. Therefore, make safe thinking as a habit. Third one, if you want to have success in any niche, you have to go to those who already have the success there. So stop reading books, going on seminars or courses, watching films, or discussing a topic with friends. Stop it right now. For example, when you want to be an entrepreneur, Stop listening to the speakers, but go to the doers. Make this is a habit. 4. Be interchangeable, aka be flexible. Stop using the tools you used to use in your 18s when you are 28. Make your tools and habits up to date. The right selection of those tools will solve any problems. And those rig changes are your biggest tools for your success. So make this a habit. Fifth one. Grasp on any new opportunity. When you don't grasp because you are not ready, someone who is also not ready will grasp it. Because where you want to go, many people want to go there too. So, the first who stands up owns his slippers. I want you to send this video to your friends, as we are living in an abundant world. Even you might not take action on those, your friends and your acquaintances might. And when the act on those who become rich, they will automatically elevate you as well. So do it for your and their future.